Oh, Will. Do it. All right. Will at White Mountain's coming to pick me up. We're going to go and do this race. My local bike shop. Got to support your local bike shop, man. Have to. This is Russ. You're doing the e-bike e category, right? Oh yeah. How far is it? 26 miles. 26 miles. Do you reckon that's gonna last? Mm, not on turbo. <laughs> 26 miles? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe, hey. maybe. Hey, More up. crew coming. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, all right. Yeah. Hey. This event's been sort of on and off since 1993. It's the second year we've been involved in it with White Mountain to get it back on the calendar. So thank you to everyone for coming out and supporting it. Because without you, we couldn't do it. Welcome to the Seven Hills. I wouldn't say it's a race, but it's a ride out from one side of the Isle of Wight all the way to the other side to an airport. Last time I did this race was about 14 years ago. Checkpoints, three checkpoints, 26 miles of beautiful coastal Isle of Wight riding. Can't beat it. Let's go. This is the Isle of Wight. It starts on the west of the island at Freshwater Bay and makes its way over the seven hills that runs parallel to the coastline, eastward with two checkpoints en route and ends at Sandown Airport on checkpoint three. 26 miles. This is a great warm up for my cross country race out in Seattle, which is coming up. So look out for this video coming soon. You gotta follow those yellow arrow signs. Nice. First descent done of seven. Seven hills, seven hill climb, seven hill descent. Thank you very much. Hill number two. Climb number three, set number three. Right, we're coming to the infamous Isle of Wight bike park, which is Cheverton Farm. If you're interested in coming over to the island and riding a bike park, this place is insane. Now, this section of trail is gonna lead through one of the blue stages, I think. Not too sure, but it starts off on the top here. It's a pretty cool place. <laughs> Hello, mate! Mate! Hello, mate! <laughs> All right, where's, che where's checkpoint number one? Don't know. Well, we hadn't even told yeah, you. Yeah, no. Alright, before I go anywhere, these are the dudes that build the farm. This is Matt the Giant, that's Sam Hodgson, he's a Saracen rider. These guys build the bike park. See you later. See ya. See you in a bit, dumb. Another white bike park. Follow them on Instagram. They're sick. Good bunch of dudes. 
through the farm. Huge concrete climb. Lock out the front suspension. Nice. Catch my friend Dave. Cut! <laughs> Have you done checkpoint anywhere? No, I thought you said checkpoint the other one, that was what I turned around. Yeah, oh. <sighs> Top of that concrete climb. Like a concrete road all the way along here. Then we drop down another descent, which will be descent number four. <laughs> so that means we've only got three more climbs, three more descents. Checkpoint number one. Yeah, I can oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> Which way? This way. Checkpoint number one. Oh, unlock the suspension. Cross country bike hardtail. Nice. <laughs> oh, nice. Thank you. No one. Do some forming up here. Oh, you do. Rewrite. Yep, just got it. So we've just done descent number four. We've just come from over there. Across that, descended from that mast. Now we're traversing back on ourselves. Let's get down to that toll road. Oh, oh, punctures, never a good thing. That was a cool little descent from there. Now we've got tarmac road for a while. Time to like regain energy. Lock out that suspension. Oh, checkpoint number two, eh? Snack. Yeah. Nice. Can't beat homemade flapjacks. Look at that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Oh. Look at that, service. Didn't expect that at checkpoint number two. Hopefully I have that. Well actually, checkpoint number three is a bar. Lifesaver, homemade flapjacks. Nice. Hill number five or six? Five. And it's a steep tacky one. It's muddy. Still got flapjack though. Nice. Climb number five. That was muddy. Short, steep one. Nice.
is climb number six to the top of a golf course in Ventna and then uh, we drop in and there's a, a tar road climb. Oh, my legs are burning. Oh. All right, let's climb this. Number six climb. Uh. Climb number six. So happy that's over. There's the last one over there. That hilltop in the distance there is the last climb. It's a tarmac climb and it's quite steep. For this little descent here, I rode this bit when I did bike packing on the Isle of Wight. If you haven't seen that, check it out. Super cool if you want to know what the Isle of Wight's all about. Some great cycling over here. Let's descend into number six downhill section all the way down to a, a chip shop turn left and turn right and you're on hill number seven all right let's go that view behind me of the ocean so beautiful this side of the isle of wight it's the east side ventna in St. Lawrence. So, so beautiful. I've been all over the Isle of Wight and I still find new trails. Weird. Never ridden this one. We're on uh, this tar road now. Leads us down to a chip shop. Turn left, then turn right. And we're on the last climb and it's tar road. Two hours in, 20 miles, six more miles to go. This climb, testing the old thigh muscles, that's for sure. Oh. That's it, that's the hardest bit done. The seven hills. Thank you very much. Go ahead. All right, we're gonna cross number seven hill where we'll drop into like the airport. It's a bit windy up here, but you remember this bit. Ah, uh, we got a bike pack to cross. Take a look at this view. Insane. Nice. You sort the t shirt out, they're over there. Oh, wicked. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Blake Sampson. Cool, thank you very much. the seven hills raced it got the t-shirt done that means I've completed the race I did it in two hours something but it's so good this is an epic day it's right on spring super cool and you know what this is on the Isle of Wight I went to my local bike shop the White Mountain bike shop and they said man the seven hills is on you should come do it I was like yes so if you want to get doing something a bit different 
in your local area, go to your local bike shop because they'll have loads of events that you guys might want to take part in. Just It's all about the community and the area you live in, cycling. I'm super excited I did this race because I did it like so, so long ago. And it's, I'm so, it's so good to do it again because that race, this race got me into mountain biking. So much fun. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you want to see me race an XC race, a full blown cross country race, me and Lycra on this canyon, let us know in the comments down below. But if you want to see me where I took part in an, uh, a, uh, an enduro race on a hardtail, click over there. Don't forget to hit the globe to subscribe because you're missing out on some rad stuff. And I'll see you at the next race. See ya.